Safety means to me going on the job, getting your work done, having a good time, enjoying it, and going back to your family safe and in one piece. Well, I taught my, uh, both my children how to drive. I drive defensively and I taught them how to. On the roads nowadays, you can't only just drive for yourself, you have to drive for everybody on that road. You gotta be aware of your surroundings and take extra precautions because you never know when it might happen. Yeah, I think of them every day. I have a look at the pictures in the morning and that's basically why I work safe out here and I'd like to put that to the other people too, that I'm working over top, sort of overseeing their safety to try and do what I didn't do and try to make them aware that they want to go home safe to their families and enjoy the rest of their life and not be a disability or anything else to them. So, very important. I find a lot of the young people nowadays, they seem to accept it more. Basically, the harder ones are the older gentlemen or ladies that have bad practices in place already. And you have to kind of edge your way into them. You can't just put it on them because they just reject it. So I feel they're a little bit harder than the young people. Well, to relay the message to the older generation of workers and that, what you have to do is kind of build trust with each other. Show them that it will work for you as well as the under, younger workers. And take your time with them. You have to be patient because they do have bad habits, some of them, and are used to doing things one way and it's hard you can't tell them what to do, you can show them how to do it. And that's how you have to do it nowadays. I think the biggest reason why workplace uh, incidents happen, it's not uh, so much being rushed or even uh, lack of knowledge. It's more mind on task. There's a lot of people here that are gone a week, two weeks, three weeks away from their families and friends. Things happen at home and naturally you take it with you to work and it's hard to block that out. So what we do to try to correct that, if you see somebody that's got a problem or may have a problem at home, if you feel they don't, they can't uh, be capable of 100% out here, we ask them if they want to go home to be where they should be to handle a crisis. Communication probably is the biggest key. Have an open-ended, like you know, have your employees be able to talk to you and you relate to them as well. Let them know what they're looking for in you and you letting them know what you expect of them. That's, it's a two-way street and it has to work.